All right, so today we're going to be installing the ARP head studs along with some new Ford Motorcraft head gaskets. I got the snap-on torque wrench and the ARP thread chasing kit just to clean out the threads. Acetone to clean the clean the block deck. And also got one of these tacking cloths to take off any lint or dust before we put on the head gasket. These are the 8740, they're not the 2000s. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean these uh, head studs. They do have some kind of coating on them. So you wanna make sure you wash them with maybe some degreaser or use some brake clean. Just get them clean before we put them on. All right, so I'm just gonna wash them in the sink and use a little bit of degreaser. So I got all the nuts and bolts washed with degreaser. Now I'm gonna wipe them down with some acetone just to get any of the remaining rust preventive coating off. Just wipe them all down, especially the threads. You wanna make sure they're extra clean. All right, so before we put the head studs on, I'm gonna rub the cylinder walls down with a little bit of automatic transmission fluid. That way on the first start, it's gonna have proper lubrication. All right, so I'm gonna chase the threads for the head studs. I'm using ARP part number 912-0013. Just using an eight millimeter socket to kind of hold it like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna spray a little bit of brake clean in all of the, all of the head stud holes. Once I'm done going through all the holes, I'm going to flip the engine over and hit it with brake clean and some compressed air just to knock any of the loose uh, dirt out of them.
All right, got all the head stud threads clean. Now I'm gonna clean the deck again with some acetone. You could also re-oil re some ATF if you need it. All right, gonna use a tacking cloth to remove any lit or any other particles that might still be there. You wanna keep cleaning it till, it's, till the towel is clean. All right, now we're gonna put on the head studs. You want the side that says ARP on the top. That's gonna to be the top with the hexagon and ARP. That's the bottom. You just want the hand tight. Once it bottoms out, you're good. Once you got all the studs put on, you want to make sure they're all level. I'm just using my straight edge. You could kind of like put it on there and see if any, any of them are sticking out more than the other. Mine is pretty, pretty even, so I should be good. Now we're ready to put on the head gaskets. Double check around the studs, take off any uh, lubricant that might still be on there. Clean up all the dust, use some acetone if you need to. Once you got it clean, we could go ahead and put on the head gasket. You want the part number facing up. And it also says R for right. So right's gonna be passenger side. So it should be facing up like this. Just like that. All right. Before we put the head on, I'm going to wipe this down with some acetone. And then I'm going to wipe it down with the tacking cloth. Sure, 
All right, so I got the cylinder head on. Before we put the washers, you want to make sure you get the surface clean with some acetone or brake clean. I had my heads uh, hot tanked at the machine shop, so my one doesn't have any oil on it. You want this side to be facing down. So it's gonna go on like that. And then we're gonna put a little bit of assembly lube on, on the flat side. Got a couple more to go. Get a little bit of the assembly lube on the threads of the stud as well. All right, now we could go ahead and put the nuts on. Go ahead and put on all 10 and then we can start torquing it down. All right, so now we're going to torque down the bolts. I'm going to do 25, 50, and then they recommend 70 in the instructions, but I'm going to be torquing mines down to 85. You might want to research for your application, depending on how much boost you want to run and whatnot, but I'm going to be doing 85. So I got it set to 25 foot-pounds, and this is going to be the first torque sequence. sequence. Now I'm going up to 50. It's a good idea to do each torque sequence twice, just in case if you missed a bolt. All right, so I got done torquing them all down to 85 foot-pounds. You should uh, clean up all the extra lube because you don't want that stuff running around in your engine. And that's pretty much it. Next video, I'll do the timing chains and probably degreeing the cams.